hello guys in this video i will tell you how to test the host of the uh, server of where the particular website is hosted so uh, just open the terminal mm, for example i have uh, this is my website uh, this is my own website so just to find out the password or uh, find out the ip of this website i will ping it for one second so this is the ip this is the uh, this is my website's ip so this is not the host ip host ip or server ip will be uh, where the website is hosted for example if i will open this ip particular ip and uh, enter will uh, i will open this ip in the browser and the website the hyphen d2.com will open but it's not the host so to find out the host of this website that on where shared server dedicated server the website is hosted we uh, have to like uh, uh, this is uh, this is the website so basically i was trying to uh, run the trace route command but it's not working right now so uh, this is the uh, this is the command trace route uh, space ip or domain name so uh, we have an alternative uh, this is a website ping.eu so click on trace route and uh, this domain go so it's uh, tracing the host okay so this is the yeah this is the ip this is the host so uh, on this server my website is hosted so uh, my website is a uh, uh, shared uh, shared hosting uh, hosting is shared hosting so this server can probably have 200 or 300 approximately websites so this is the ip okay uh, this or this so this is the ip okay sorry So ping one eight two five zero one fifty six two forty three. So, uh, what it uh, how this trace route command works? So, when we open this website, so trace route command what what it does? It uh, uh, tracks all the like like when you ping uh, it's like a ping but it also uh, keeps the records or uh, uh, the servers are uh, the servers are getting hit in between that ping command so the first the first the very first is this and then this so uh, they are these both domain are like uh, similar so heads online okay i think it's a ping dot eu's their own like uh, um, ho hosting i uh, hosting domains or something like that then they are like uh, internet to isp providers then this then you know the uh, I mean concept of under sea cables then like Singapore Canada the connections uh, the connection hits uh, uh, in these dot uh, entity dot net and then finally it hits to the GoDaddy shared server IP so if we will search this IP it will show us the um, like isp provider and the location so basically my website uh, on which shared server is hosted that server is uh, located in singapore okay so isp is godaddy organization like uh, uh, it's showing
so that's it so uh, I want you to understand that the IP of a website and the IP of host can be different because if if uh, I mean in the most cases it will be different because if you have a shared hosting or you want to trace any websites so who uh, like okay for example uh, I'll be honest with you if you want to attack on a shared server if you want to attack on a shared server so uh, I think you have to attack not only that particular website so uh, if you will attack on the uh, websites IP the websites resources will be fully consumed and uh, the website will be busy but the other rest of the 200 or 300 websites will be uh, like they will run properly uh, they will not get affected by this but if you will attack on the host IP like the f whole shared servers IP the main IP then the uh, then the all websites will get affected so, uh, that's all I was trying to like uh, to tell you so these both are IP this is the IP is of website and uh, this IP is of host IP okay so this my website is hosted on this shared server and that shared server have this IP 182 and the 166 is my website's IP so uh, that's all you can also run this command on your Ubuntu or any Linux or you I think Unix variant trace route command trace route command and IP or domain name and it will tell you how the packets are send uh, via your laptop or Wi-Fi or from your desktop to your ISP provider and then you uh, they they goes out from your uh, like uh, state or city then from country then from border gateway protocol BGP and then they go to another uh, country and uh, they go via uh, they go through under sea cables and then they actually by routing from two or three countries and then they actually reach to the uh, host okay thank you thank you so much